gentlemen. It is a pleasure to be in the historic city of Lima, Peru. I express gratitude for the excellent hospitality extended to my government, to my delegation by the Peruvian government and people. Colleagues, some 22 years ago, member states and governments took the bold step of adopting the Inter-American Convention Against Corruption, the first international agreement of its kind. They recognized the need to root out corruption at the foundation of the Inter-American system as being necessary for the preservation and strengthening of democracy. Members understood the social cost of corruption which distorts our economies and the allocation of resources for development. Members further recognized the negative impact of corruption as a hidden and illegal tax on trade, economic development, growth, and investment. Further, the adoption of the Inter-American Democratic Charter at Lima in 2001 embodied our commitment to democratic principles and the essential elements of democracy enshrined in Article 3. The people of the Americas are demanding greater transparency and participation in our democratic process, and we must and we will move resolutely to fulfill this obligation. Colleagues, in response to the demand for better governance, the Bahamas has adopted as a core governing philosophy a non-tolerance for corruption policy. We are strengthening public institutions to enhance government transparency, accountability, and good governance. Recent initiatives include measures to establish an ombudsman office to act on behalf of the public in investigating and mediating claims of government maladministration, to establish an integrity commission to educate, spearhead, spearhead reform and investigate issues related to corruption, financial disclosure and malfeasance while strengthening the public sector code of conduct and bolstering whistleblower protections to enhance provisions for confiscation of assets derived from corrupt beings, and to amend our nation's constitution to establish the independence and autonomy of the Office of the Director of Public Prosecutions. Colleagues, the Bahamas firmly endorses the tenets of the Lima commitments. These commitments establish a baseline that each country should aim to achieve. The tenets are tools for us to hold each other accountable. It is only through cooperation and collaboration that countries will be able to curtail the webs of corruption that often extend across our borders. Accordingly, we are pleased that the Lima commitments acknowledge the importance of technical assistance to ensure that states have the necessary support to implement regional and international anti-corruption obligations. We also applaud the inclusion of a mandate to establish a hemispheric focus upon tax information exchange that has, until now, been a rather one-sided, indeed lopsided conversation. Too often, Small states are subject to norms developed without meaningful engagement with us. Norms that may not be applied uniformly to all jurisdictions. We look forward to a balanced dialogue where we meet as equals on matters that are of importance to us all. When setting regional or international standards, there is a need to minimize unintended consequences that negatively impact small economies in the hemisphere, especially when devising regulatory mechanisms. For many developing countries, including small island states in the Caribbean, for instance, 
the unintended consequence of loss of correspondent banking relationships requires a collaborative, collaborative solution as stated by the IMF Managing Director, Christine Lagarde, in 2016. We must ensure that our efforts do not have as a backlash the erosion of regional financial stability and inclusion. Colleagues, the Bahamas is pleased with the prioritization of education in the Lima commitments, given the important role education can play in preventing corruption and bolstering democratic governance. Last February, in the Bahamas, our hemisphere took a momentous step forward by adopting the Inter-American Education Agenda. The agenda solidified our collective commitment to education cooperation and agreement that the provision of, equal of quality, inclusive, and equitable education is the precursor to sustainable development. In the Bahamas' role as chair of the Inter-American Committee on Education, we commit to working with the OAS Secretariat, member states, and governments and relevant international and regional entities to implement agenda. Colleagues, as I close, I admonish all of us here in Lima to let our efforts be the catalyst by a new, for a new era of responsible, accountable, and transparent governance across our hemisphere. I thank you.